I understand that most of us don't have finesse and polish. We don't have it. We were not born to it. Your father was not a noble. Your grandfather was not a noble. So you were brought up with street ways. Street ways can help you at street level. But when you get to throne level in the corridors of power, just the way you talk can disqualify you. The way you carry yourself, the way you wear your clothes can disqualify you. Because when anybody sees you, they are checking you out, defining you and determining what they will do after the definition. Because when people can define you, they will nullify you. You start talking, he's checking out your accent. You can say, well, this is my accent. This is the way I talk. I don't care. Yeah, it, it will help you to be popular with your folks. But at a certain level, this is the way, the way I talk. It, it's not going to help you. It's not going to help you. Now I'm sure you're going to say, well, I know people, they, they, they talk anyhow and they're still, you know, they were rich before they started talking. So he says, I want people from a higher social class, the sons of the rulers, people who are predisposed to leadership. Because Nebuchadnezzar says, I don't want people I'm going to spend the rest of my life trying to fix. I want people who come with a certain propensity so when I train them, my training period will be shorter. Because the pace at which the world moves, nobody wants to teach you one lesson three times. They don't have time for you. So they teach you once, you don't get it. Maybe give you another chance, you don't get it, you are out. The Nebuchadnezzar system has no sympathy for your weakness. Because the system Nebuchadnezzar set, and by the way, the system of Nebuchadnezzar is the system that runs our world. It doesn't run the kingdom of God, but it runs the world, the world system. And it has no sympathy for your weakness. It's not going to lift you up when you are down. If you don't stand, nobody will recognize you. If you don't talk, nobody will ask you to speak. Nebuchadnezzar's system says, you have to be smart, you have to be intelligent, you have to know what is happening around you. You have to be able to answer quickly when you ask a question. They ask you a question, you don't say, I'm going to pray about it, I'm going to pray about it. That's good for church. That's good for church and we love when you are praying about it. But when you are going out there, Nobody cares whether you pray about it or not. They want you to give an answer immediately. So Nebuchadnezzar says, as penas, look for these three qualities. Somebody handsome, good looking, has nobility about him, smart in the head. And when you find them, pick them. The rest are slave material. I'm not, I'm not being cruel. I'm just telling you, that's how it... So everybody that was not picked when Daniel was picked went to work as a slave. In just that one moment, people who came to Babylon have been separated into people who are perpetually going to be hewers of wood and drawers of water. And another group now have the opportunity to stand before the king. And if you look at it, and I'm not saying it's a fair system, I'm just saying if you look at it, nothing spiritual is mentioned. There. The world system has been built to exclude believers. The more spiritual you become, the more the world system is designed to throw you out. That is why we cannot just be spiritual alone. We have to be spiritual and wise.
spiritual and strategic spiritual and shrewd so we don't become like the Israelites in Egypt who have everything but are dominated by fewer people